You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Now that was said by motivational speaker Jim Rohn. Why do most people go through life with then having some sort of regret later on? Like, I wish I traveled more. I wish I'd started my own business. Now take a look at the five closest people that you spend the most time with. Do you like their life choices? Would you be happy living their life? Do they make you happy? If you answered no to any of the above, then you need to make some changes in your life to prevent you having regrets later on. In this video, I'm going to go through five of the main reasons people tend to fail and therefore remain poorer later on. So let's get started. Number one, negativity. Negativity is the killer of productivity and creativity. It stops you from innovating, it stops you from making change because you become more risk averse and you tend to hold yourself back. In the book called The Ride of a Lifetime by the CEO of Walt Disney, Bob Eager, he said that even in the face of difficult choices and less than ideal outcomes, an optimistic leader does not yield to pessimism. Simply put, people are not motivated or energized by pessimists. If you are harboring any negativity or any pessimism, you won't be able to move forward with that optimism and with growth and to develop and do better. Things will never work out the way you want them to. So it's important to adopt a positive mindset, especially and more, even more so when faced with adversity, because with a positive mindset comes positive results and with positive results comes the chance to be on your way to success. Number two, lack of exercise. Exercising is there for your mind and your body. What exercising does is releases a hormone called endorphins, which is the hormone also known as the happy hormone. It's there to make you feel good. Muhammad Ali famously said, he hated every minute of exercise. He says, suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. And it's that mentality that will keep guiding you through if you want to achieve better results and you want to keep growing. Now, during the pandemic, I was going out a lot less naturally because of COVID. I couldn't see my friends or family. There weren't many places to visit or go out to because things were shut and there was not much to do. And I found myself slowly and slowly becoming more lethargic and less productive. I was taking more lie-ins. I was spending days not achieving much at all. And one day I saw an ad on my phone, just randomly scrolling about the benefits of exercise. And I thought, well, maybe I should put into practice some sort of workout daily. At least it will help me feel a little bit better about myself and perhaps it might keep me feeling a bit more motivated. So one day I woke up early and I decided to do a seven minute workout. The next day I repeated, did the same, seven minutes. Didn't feel too good, didn't see any results, but I made the action of waking up earlier. So already I felt that if I disturbed my sleep to wake up earlier, I might as well make the use of the time. So I ended up doing more productive things around the home, cleaning earlier, getting on with my work earlier, and things became more routinely productive. Over time, I realized seven minutes was really nothing. So I increased it, I doubled it, 14 minutes, then 28 minutes. And before you know it, my workouts usually became a 40 minute workout about four or five times a week. And I've kept that going. Slowly and surely, I started to see results. I used to have quite bad acne and this started to disappear. I also used to feel like I wasn't in shape. One day I started to see some toning and I thought, wow, exercise over time really does compound and really does make a difference and that kept me more motivated the more results i saw and naturally i never saw anything for the first few months or so i just kept doing it to feel better and to give me some sort of purpose but the minute i started seeing results the harder i pushed the more i wanted results for myself for my mindset for my body and before you know it it's become a habit since starting exercise about three four years ago I've started this YouTube channel, I've got married, and things have started to look a lot more better because I've become more productive and my career prospects have improved. So I've definitely felt the improvements of my life since exercising. And it all started with one day during the pandemic, a seven minute workout. Number three, not having goals. When we don't have anything to work towards, we tend to spend more time in social media, more time procrastinating, and more time wasting doing things that aren't of value to us or to our growth. Bruce Lee famously said, a goal is not always meant to be reached. It often serves as simply as something to aim at. What you want to do is visualize something that you are working towards and daily take steps to go towards it. Now imagine being on a flight which has no destination, it's just flying. At first this sounds really exciting, it's spontaneous, it's 
endless, you don't know where you're going to go, the mystery around it is quite thrilling. But as the flight keeps going and getting longer, you slowly begin to wonder, well, where actually are we going? You begin to think, how long do we have left? Flights become uncomfortable. You very quickly get over the novelty of being on an endless flight. Perhaps you start to feel anxious about when this flight will reach this destination. Life is very similar. If you don't have goals, you're basically on that flight to nowhere. Try and anchor your daily habits and things that you do regularly to a particular goal. If you don't reach that goal, at least you were aiming towards something and you might find a different path that you want to follow along the way. Number four, staying up late. Now, this is something I used to do a lot when I was at university and I was a lot younger. You feel like, well, I'm not tired, so why should I bother going to sleep? The night is quieter, there's less people around, you can get a lot of things done. But actually, studies have shown that staying up late is more detrimental to you than the opposite of waking up early because our bodies are programmed to get into something called the circadian rhythm and that is our automatic body clock regulating when we go to bed and when we wake. The more you set a system of sleeping at a particular time and waking at a particular time, the more your circadian rhythm sets into motion and naturally begins to wake you at a time that's convenient and makes you feel tired at a time that's convenient. We are also programmed to sleep when we see the light is dimmer, when the mood is quieter, whereas when the day is brighter, we tend to get less good quality sleep. So doing the opposite of sleeping during the day but being being awake at night isn't always the best for our bodies and our mindset. The Dalai Lama once said, sleep is the best meditation. Sleep allows you to reset your mind, to reprogram, if you like, everything that you've learned, you've picked up. Now, if you're someone that's finding yourself not able to reach peak productivity, not able to achieve things that you see other people are achieving, perhaps not getting the most out of your day, maybe you're feeling lethargic. Take a look at your sleep schedule because you might find something that isn't quite right for you and you may need to make some adjustments and get used to the habit of going to bed earlier and waking up earlier in order to improve your productivity. And lastly, have a really good diet. It's cheesy, but the saying, you are what you eat, is definitely true. And this is something that I've also implemented in my life, especially in the last four or five years. Since I have moved in with my husband, we plan our meals on a weekly basis and we tend to want to eat more healthily. I'm in control of the cheeky meals that I have and the really healthy meals that I have. According to a 2021 journal of applied psychology, they say that nighttime unhealthy eating choices results in less productivity the next day. So if you're the kind of person that has a cheeky takeaway frequently in the evening, or you order yourself a really carb heavy meal in the evening, then you're more likely to have less productivity the next day. And if you've noticed that, I'd love to hear about it. So drop a comment below because it's not something I've ever thought about when I've had a really heavy meal. Yes, I feel lethargic that evening, but I've never really looked at my productivity the next day. Now, eating clean and healthy food doesn't mean you can't have a cheeky meal once in a while. Of course, it's just all about having the right balance, but I've definitely found myself to be more motivated, more mentally healthy, as well as physically healthy, and more willing to make the right choices in life and be productive because I know that my body is getting getting the right fuel for its energy and for it to keep going. Now, over the last eight years or so, I'd say, I've been implementing these top five habits into my life. But what I've found is these habits don't always stick. They are bound to fail. Yes, you are going to perhaps slip into a bad bedtime routine sometimes. Yes, you might stop eating healthily for a week because you just don't have time to cook home cooked meals all the time. But that's the point of a habit. They do fail, but you reset and you start again. Every time I press the reset button, I remember why I do it. It's because I want to be productive. I want to feel good mentally and physically. I want to be healthy, I want to be happier, and that is what makes me start the habit again, even though sometimes it can get in the way, life can get in the way and things don't work out. It's that positive mindset and making sure that I know my goal is to be a better, healthier person, and that's why I reset those habits. If you have experienced any positive effects of using some of these habits or perhaps not been able to and been struggling to get into a good routine, do drop me a comment, I'd love to hear about it. Lately, I've welcomed so many new subscribers to my channel and it's been fantastic talking to you and getting to know you and seeing the channel growth. If you're new here, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and join the family as we grow and learn together. I'm gonna leave some videos which are a bit similar to this, which I think you'll find really helpful and I'll definitely see you in the next one.